Hey there, and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. I'm your English coach, Christina, and today we're getting ready to celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, it's my favorite holiday, so I can be a little over enthusiastic about it sometimes. When I was a kid. Halloween was all about scary ghost stories. Ghost stories about monsters. <sighs> ghost, ooh. And skeletons. Got my skeleton earrings. Fun songs, Halloween costumes, Halloween costumes to be a witch, a butterfly, or even Cleopatra. And of course, candy. Lots of candy, really happy memories. And today I want to share with you some of my favorite Halloween books and stories so that you can bring a little Halloween and some real English into your life. Let's go, ho, 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 if you dare. Everybody knows The Simpsons. It's the most popular cartoon in American television history. But did you know that every year since the beginning, there's a special Halloween episode? And this year, 2017, will be the 28th one. These special episodes are called the Treehouse of Horror episodes. The Treehouse of Horror, just like Bart's famous treehouse. Now, these episodes include a lot of cultural references to other Halloween stories and scary movies. So, it's a great way to immerse yourself into American Halloween culture if you love this holiday like I do. And there's even a Simpsons episode of The Raven, which we'll look at later. Now, I'll put some links with summaries of the best Treehouse of Horror episodes, plus a link to watch a full episode below this video and also to the Simpsons version of The Raven. Just don't watch it alone. There are some stories that everybody knows in the US. And if you watch American TV, you may see cartoon versions of them or documentaries about their history. The most famous story is probably Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, written in 1820. It's about a superstitious school teacher named Ichabod Crane, who comes to live in a small village in Tarrytown, New York. One night, on his way home from a Halloween party, he meets a terrifying headless horseman. It's a guy without a head riding a horse. Pretty scary, right? Yeah. And after a crazy chase in the forest, the headless horseman throws his bloody head at Ichabod Crane. And the next day, Ichabod Crane has mysteriously disappeared from the village. Now, I don't recommend trying to read the original story. It's written in a very old style of English with lots of obscure vocabulary. But, Thanks to the mysterious magic of internet, 
you can watch the same cartoon that I watched when I was a kid. And of course, there's the Tim Burton movie, Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow, starring Johnny Depp, and I definitely recommend this movie. In fact, I think maybe I'll watch it tonight. American kids love ghost stories, and there are plenty of Halloween books written for kids. But I'll warn you, these stories are truly creepy, creepy, scary. Like, they are not Disney stories with happy endings. No, my favorite collection is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. I even brought these books with me to France so that I could reread them at Halloween. It's a collection of traditional American ghost stories and urban legends. Urban legends like two boys who see a monster in a cornfield, a woman who almost becomes the victim of a killer in her car, or a ghost that haunts the 13th floor of a hotel. Scary stories to tell in the dark are truly scary, and the illustrations are even worse, even if they're for kids. Another collection of stories I loved when I was little is In a Dark, Dark Room. Now, these are not as scary because they're for children aged four to eight, but they're excellent reading for some real accessible English. And they still have scary stories about a <laughs> decapitated woman, a young hitchhiker who is in fact a ghost in reality, and a skeleton named John. The Raven. Many Americans know the opening line to this scary poem. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. And you can really feel the rhythm of the language. Just listen. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. This poem, The Raven, was written by Edgar Allan Poe, a famous American poet, you've probably heard of him, who was born in Boston in 1809. And The Raven is his most famous poem. I'll put a link below so that you can listen and read along. But again, it's kind of an old style poetic English. So you might want to find a translation in your language so that you can understand the story. Poe had a very miserable life. His dad abandoned the family. His mom died the next year. He had problems with his adopted family. He was poor. I mean, I mean, just look at the guy. You can see that he had a hard life. But maybe because of his experiences, Edgar Allan Poe became a master at writing mysteries. Mysteries and macabre stories. Macabre stories. Like The Telltale Heart. It's a short story about insanity and murder. Or The Pit and the Pendulum about a victim of the Spanish Inquisition. I told you, Poe is not happy stuff, but his stories are classics that we still love, especially around Halloween, when they show the old film versions, especially the ones with the actor Vincent Price, who became famous for playing in these horror films. Are you scared yet? Ooh, no? All right, well then, tell me, are you going to celebrate Halloween? Or do you know any other Halloween stories? Or, even better, 
ghost stories from your country. I would love to read them and I would love for you to share them with me and the Speak English ambassadors. Now, if you're not too scared, go ahead and check out my other Halloween episode on American Halloween traditions at the office. Thank you so much for watching Speak English with Christina and have a happy Halloween! <laughs> All right, see you guys next week.